Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Garage. And today I am working on the Revo again. And the last video I did with it, I took like most of the front end stuff off and cleaned and brushed it off and um, did all that because for a waste of time. It was a waste of time because I just bought all new arms and stuff, anyways. Um, but yeah, that is what I did last video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. And um, I, today I'm just gonna basically put everything new that I got on and uh, just the front end because I did get all the stuff for the rear end too but I don't know how much how long it'll take me because I don't have a lot of time I only have like oh, actually I do have time I actually do have time what am I talking about but yeah I'm gonna put the new stuff on it's gonna might take me a while actually because I just have all the screws here and I didn't even I don't even remember where they all go so it might take me a while. I might have to go back or look at like a exploded view and look at what screws go where. But uh, yeah, let's get started with putting. Actually, I need to clean the chassis first, like where I took all parts, kind of dirty. So I need to clean that first, and then we'll get started with putting on the new parts on. So let's get to it. Rage on that beat, going crazy.
Alright guys, I have uh, finally finished the front part. What you just saw took a couple day, three days? Well, it was one day, took a break one day. Well, it took, I didn't have time one day. And then today. So, uh, it took a couple days because I'd only have a couple minutes here and there to do it. But um, I finally put the front end together, cleaned up the front part of the chassis. I also put like the... A little handle thing. I don't even know what it's called. Roll bar. I don't know. But it's um. But it's done now. The front end. This roll bar in the middle. Cleaned up decently. So let me show you how it turned out. All right, guys. So this is the front now. And look how beautiful it looks. This is not on all the way because I think I lost the screws that actually mount the bumper. But I will get those soon. But look at how nice and clean these are still the they're just rusted so i don't even they'll be under the the body more but uh, these are going to be out more and stuff and you'll be able to see these more than you will the shock so that's why i wanted to get all these done nice and clean um the toe from this from these toe links is not set i just kind of put them on just to get them on so i am going to have to set the toe on both sides correctly because right now it's off so I have to do that next. I need to get a toe gauge because I don't even think I have one. I don't have one. I definitely don't have one. I've never had to set it before. So that is why I have to set these, get a gauge, find out how many degrees or whatever I need to put the toe at. But this is the rest of the car kind of cleaned up. The plastic's here. And I replaced this as well. And you can tell the difference of the old parts, which is the rear end still. And the new parts look how much you could it's just a lot better you can even tell from up here how much better it looks with the new parts i don't understand like these are wiggly they're loose i don't remember if they're like that when i took them apart i don't know but there's i mean i can't like the screws i use I this is like what they are i mean it's fine because i'm not really gonna be this is not gonna be a bashing truck it's not gonna be in the dirt a whole lot and and uh being ran hard a lot so i don't really worry about that but they both are loose i don't i don't know what is going on there but like see the rear is not so i don't know i don't know what's happening there and they're slanted i don't know if i put them on right because they're slanted one way so if they're not right i'll just change them put them the other way but that is how the front end came out and it's a little difficult it took a little bit more time because I just put all the screws everywhere and didn't organize them correctly and put them where they needed to go. So I had to kind of look up at exploded views and, and just kind of see where they go. But I um, got pretty much everything sorted out and all the screws in the right place. Like I said, I think I lost these because when I looked up, I didn't have the screws that I needed. So i think these are lost and then i obviously have some screws left over because i took this stuff out back here and the engine and stuff so um yeah that is uh that is part two guys sorry if it uh, took a little longer but it is now finally finished new rocker arms here as you can see everything's looking nice She's starting to look you know back to her former glory got the new uh wheel hubs right here and uh, I just need the tires and stuff so that is how it has been going so far so all right well that's gonna be it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next part of the Revo rebuild